So someone was asking me if I could share my testimonies from Mexico in English, so here you go. Um, Mexico was life-changing. It was so beautiful. We were working together with this church and this church was so precious. They were so hungry and so hungry for more of God, so open to learn and I learned, I learned so much from them. Just to see their hunger and just to see the, how hungry they were for, for God and to learn more every single day. I was like, mm, I can learn from that, you know, just having that hunger and just be open for, for every single day to learn more and because there is more. And um, so we did a lot of things. It was like I took a lot of risk. Uh, every day was stepping out of the boat, um, but it was so worth it. Like, standing in front of 500 people on stage and sharing like a prophetic word something like that that i was like Ooh, i don't know if i if i could do that but just like being able like i knowing who you are and knowing that god is in you and knowing that he speaks through you is like yes believing like yeah i i hear his voice you know and um yeah it's just it was so amazing we did a lot of evangelism and uh so we went on this street we, we went to the jail we went to to the schools and uh one day we were in downtown tampico and <clears throat> this lady came up we were walking around i was walking with my translator and this lady came up and she was walking uh like a little limp um and uh, so we asked her if we could pray for her and she said yeah she had pain in her knee so we prayed for her knee and the pain got less so we were like thank you jesus um so we prayed again and again but the pain didn't leave like totally so we i felt that i had to pray for her leg so we we set her on a bench and i was like okay lord jesus help because this is the first time that i will pray for something like this i never did this but you are in me it's not me who is doing this it's you who is doing this so i was like i commend the leg to grow and it grow it was like a centimeter or something i don't know how much how many inches that are it is but it was a centimeter and her leg grow and she was so surprised that she stood up and she walked so much better and i was surprised because i was like mm, is it this simple you know like i thought it was so much harder and um but still she had a little bit of pain so we were like okay now we need like complete healing you know so uh we prayed one more time and the pain left and she was like so happy she said now i can i can dance because there was this music thing going on in the park she was like i can dance and it was just so beautiful and and we we had the opportunity to pray for for a few other people and some got healed and some did it and i don't know why but you know it's just about sowing seeds and loving on them and um sharing god's love and sharing the gospel it's so much easier and than i thought it was and just seeing their their eyes opening up you know like we were one time we were in the mall and we were just like uh loving on people and it's like we i said to my to my team i said you know because we were all in different groups and i said to the to them you know it's like about that one person in front of you it's better that you that you see that one person in front of you than that you go after like the whole groups like big groups you know it's um it's just loving on them and calling out the gold in them and that was like that was so cool to see just to see all these surprise faces and seeing people smile when you say oh you're beautiful or god loves you and sometimes they only need to hear that you know so it was it was really cool and uh, we saw over 120 people got healed and over 150 people got saved and it was so so cool and we went one day we went to the hospital and i got to pray for all these kids and there was this one little baby she was five months old she had problems with her heart and uh, she was on the list to go to another hospital to get surgery but we prayed for her and she was sleeping so peacefully and it was so cool because every time when we prayed and we said like 
Jesus be healed in Jesus name or we spoke the name of Jesus her head went like she was sleeping like this and her head went like and it was so cool because I just I, I just believe that God was doing something you know I don't know if she got healed I don't know but I just believe that she got healed and God was doing something in that little body of the baby and and it was just so beautiful to see and some things were super hard we went to the jail and that had like a lot of impact like just seeing all these women and and knowing that they have kids there like for the first three years of their lives they can stay with their mom and just seeing those kids and i was holding this one year old little girl and she was living there and i was like oh god this break this breaks my heart i'm like why you know and um but i just i just hold her and she hugged me and i was just like loving on her and praying for her and just blessing her and and um i wish i could bring her home but i couldn't but yeah it was it was really beautiful and just to see all those ladies there and just to pray for them and just to sit on the on the same table with them and sharing stories and eating a sandwich and it was it was just so so beautiful and just so so um so precious to to share god's love with them and it was yeah it was a super i love the trip like from every minute on like every single minute i loved it and i God was so he was so moving like every single day and it was just it was life-changing so yes